Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey is an evolutionary survival game developed by Panache Digital Games. The game sees you take control of a tribe made up of primates. The aim of the game is to evolve the tribe by improving their intelligence, senses and motor skills over multiple generations. So, what is the game like to play? Well, you start out taking control of a tribe member in your waterfall home, but you can switch between any of the tribe if you wish. In the early stages of the game, you'll be foraging for food, figuring out what you can and can't eat, locating clean drinking water, and generally exploring, experimenting, and trying to figure out how things work. The game doesn't hold your hand, so be prepared to feel like a simple primate who has no idea what they're doing. So it's a slow burner of an experience, but the more you play, the more your tribe will learn about their surroundings. Exploration is the key, and uncovering new areas will make your primates feel stressed at first. So you'll have to figure out how to familiarize yourself with these new scary regions, otherwise your tribe member will freak out. Thankfully, traversing the jungle region in the beginning is an enjoyable experience, and using the trees is essential as dangerous predators lay in wait on the ground. You can intimidate some creatures though, but weapons aren't available until you evolve. And evolution happens at night. Once you build up enough experience, you can improve the neural activity of your tribe by unlocking two-handed abilities, better communication skills and heightened senses which are all essential for survival. You can use your intelligence to sense danger or discoverable items. The same applies for hearing and these skills really help in the survival and the evolution of your tribe in the long run. Now that all might sound fairly simple, but in the beginning when you're working stuff out it's amazing how quickly you can lose tribe members, and if all of them die it's game over. You can form couples to bring new children into the tribe. You can pick up items and investigate their properties and even find precious stones that will make you more likely to mate or be braver in certain situations. So on my first playthrough, I lasted about eight hours. I fell out of the trees, died of old age or exhaustion, or I just got swallowed by giant snakes. And this is not an easy game that you're gonna breeze through. It takes time to evolve and to work out how the system works. And also you don't have a map of the area, so you have to orientate yourself based on your experience. You know, you will feel quite stupid at first, like you'll pick up a rock and hit it with another rock and nothing's happening, or you'll find a piece of wood you want to turn into a spear but you can't figure it out, and it's good at making kind of the basic stuff challenging. But that's really the point of the game, it's trying to replicate what it was like for our ancestors, how the small steps over time led to big change in evolution. And in that regard, it's very original, as I don't really recall another game where you play like a multi-generational survival experience. Yes, it's got typical survival elements like eating, drinking, relocating your tribe to a new base, learning how to craft, etc. But it's much more than a survival game, it's something fresh and new and it does a great job of recreating a kind of primitive life and how that process of evolution would have felt like. However, it's not all good. The game can be a bit of a chore and in the beginning, even once you progress a little bit, it's, it's very, very slow stuff. You'll definitely need a lot of patience and to be interested in this type of experience because it's, it's not a quick fix experience. It's very slow, very methodical, but ultimately quite satisfying. Graphically, the game looks good rather than spectacular. On the surface, the lush green jungles look really good, but when you get closer, things aren't that amazing and the details a bit, sh you know, it's not, it's not bad, but it doesn't quite hold up. The camera work mostly is fine, but it does get stuck behind objects at times. And the primates look pretty realistic, their movements are good, and it all comes across in a kind of realistic way. The game features some nice earthy music, although some tracks feel like they're from a bad chill out album. The primitive voices are great and communication is the key in this game. If you call out to a tribe member they hear you, they will call back. And it's, it's small details like that that really make it feel like a real experience. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's a unique survival experience. The game is a genuine challenge. The level traversal is smooth, the way you unlock new abilities is well paced, and it's a very relaxing and chilled experience. What's bad? The game can be a bit of a chore. The interest levels do slide after the initial kind of 10 hours or so. It is not the most exciting game to play and the progression is a little bit too obscure at times. 
So, what is the verdict? Ancestors, The Humankind Odyssey is a very original piece of work. It's a unique take on the survival genre as it encompasses a multi-generational aspect of survival. It's far from perfect, but it's almost a new genre of game in itself, so it was never going to be perfect. But I did enjoy it to a degree, you know, slowly figuring out how to make tools, how to open up the map, how to get to new regions, migrations, evolutions. It's slow going, but it is satisfying in the end. It isn't riveting, you know, it's not the most thrilling moments in gaming, but it has a kind of satisfactory reward mechanism. And I personally, if you're patient and you like survival and you are interested in the kind of primate evolution, I'd say it's definitely worth having a look at. So my score for Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey is 7.8 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.